Hello boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new review. This time we're reviewing Santa Clarita Diet Season 2. After catching up with the first season, I went straight into the second I wanted to know more about the weird lives of the Hammonds. Anyway, it is time for a review. After the Season 1 finale, where the Hammonds found a way to stop the disease progressing, they thought their lives would go back to somewhat normal. But now that the detective has moved in next door, they need to be more careful than ever. This just means that any claim they do, they have to find an excuse to why they're acting so shifty as well as trying to find a cause of the disease in the first place. The story to me seems a lot more intense than the first season due to how careful they have to be now as well as the fact that there is more than just Sheila to worry about. After they find out, the cause to, after they find out the cause of the disease, they find out that in fact there are two other people infected which causes everything to go all out of proportion very quickly and I loved it. The story makes you want to binge the whole show in one as you don't want to miss a single thing. With how good the story is in season 2 then the acting needed to be improved upon from the first season and if anything it is on the same level which is both a good and a bad thing. It is good as the acting from the first season is still pretty good but bad because how much of the actors need to take a step up to make the show that much better. The younger actors in the show however did really well. Liv Henson who played Abby and Skylar Ginzindo who played Eric do their parts very well and the on-screen friendship and relation they have is probably one of the best things on the about the whole show. Once again the CGI is what lets the show down, it isn't anything close to realistic which is what you want from this sort of show. The best example of this is when Mr Ballegs had been animated from the start you could tell how bad it was and you would expect something from a massive company like Netflix. Where I'm sitting here hoping that season 3 gets confirmed as I want to know about, more about the family and how they're going to cope with the season 2 finale that went down. If you have yet to see the show then trust me it is great and if you haven't yet season 2 but have watched season 1 then trust me season 2 is a lot better than season 1, the only thing that's not is the CGI. I've been Aaron Marcel, I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.